Pasta alla limone, a southern Italian dish consisting of just lemon and butter that's so easy and can be whipped up in the time it takes for you to boil water. Dude, these intros get weirder and weirder every week. Okay, first things first. This is a lemon. To zest a lemon, there's two ways. The normal way you probably all use, which isn't bad and I would use mainly for finishing something before it hits the table, but the other way is where you would hold it like an apple and peel across with your other hand. The yield this way is much greater, not to mention easier to manage the amount of bitter pith that you are grating. Like, come on, look at all that. Save that zest for later, and with that same lemon, we want to juice it. I use a mini strainer and this weird 18th century torture tool to extract my juice, but you can use whatever tools that you guys have. I'm also going to chop some chives for later too, in case we want to be fancy. Now the pasta I'm using today is bucatini, perfect for trapping our buttery sauce. Few things to note here when cooking your pasta. We want to build a strong pasta water to help thicken and emulsify our sauce later, so there's a few ways to do that. Use a bronze cut pasta. It will release way more starch than regular pasta. Also, use less water in your pot while boiling your pasta. This will increase the starch content by volume. Just make sure you stir it well when you drop it in to ensure minimal sticking. I like to also throw in about a drop of olive oil in that water too. Now to start the sauce, start by melting about two to three tablespoons of good butter in a pan. Don't be cheap here. Quality of ingredients is going to be everything for this dish. Once we begin to melt, I drop my heat to medium and add the zest of one lemon and allow this to infuse for just a few minutes. Man, that smells good. Next, add about two tablespoons or so of our starchy pasta water and move that around so everything gets mixed up. The low simmer and the starches in the water are going to help emulsify this and keep your butter from overcooking. Keep it moving in the pan over medium heat. You'll see this start to tighten up in front of you. Then you want to add the hot pasta itself and about one tablespoon of lemon juice. Not a lot. You don't need a ton of juice here. I don't want the sauce to make your mouth pucker too much. A lot of the flavor will actually come from the zest. Then turn the heat off and use the residual heat in the pan and from the pasta to keep this all emulsified. Give the pasta a few good tosses so all of the noodles are covered in that buttery lemon sauce. Look at this creamy, buttery citrus sauce we just made. Man, this is beautiful. Notice there's no little oil dots and our sauce didn't break. Well done, Hotshot. Kudos to you. We're gonna finish this with some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Now, a bowl, as all of us Italians know, is the ultimate vessel for pasta consumption. Last but not least, one more hit of that zest. Notice which method we're using here, right? More cheese, obviously. A light sprinkle of chives crack some black pepper, and voila. There's enough salt from the cheese and the salty water we use for the pasta, but this dish doesn't get any better. On a late summer night, this dish just hits different. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next week. Stay hungry, my friends. Bon appetit. I I didn't I didn't mean to rhyme. That that just came. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>